Hello everyone and welcome back to Take Up Taro. How are you guys? And I want to welcome you on this super cold morning where I have thunderstorm where I am. It is raining and the weather is super super chilly. So I want to welcome you to yet another reading. So wherever you are, what is the weather like? And are you enjoying it? Let me know in the comment section down below. So in today's video, we are going to be looking into messages from your guides for your journey ahead. As usual, you have three piles in front of you. Please pick one that really speaks to you and we'll start with pile one. Hello, and if you've picked pile one, then these are the messages that are coming forth for you from your spirit guides. All right. So basically pile one, you are being told by your guides that now is the time to heal yourself. Now is the time to take care of your emotional life. Okay, that is what is coming through here. Because what I sense is over the next couple of days, there are some reflections that you need to do. You need to resolve some things that have been pending for a very long time. Okay, this is like very long time. Get rid of them once and for all because if they keep coming up, if they keep coming up, you will just be stuck in a limbo. And you need to heal yourself once and for all because your journey forward is meant to be very, very beautiful. It's meant to be abundant it's meant to be fulfilling and it is meant to be happy so what you're doing in a way is you are sort of holding on to some kind of struggle internal struggle is what i see so be your own medicine man be your own medicine woman and ask yourself what do i need to heal and sit down get down to business and get rid of this once and for all yeah that is what is coming forth because if you see here there is a beautiful sunrise that is awaiting on your life okay minor irritations but those irritations need to go that is the message that your guides are here to tell you and again you are being asked to focus on positive aspects of yourself okay see in our daily life every day we will come across situations where something goes wrong and it always will but at that point of time you need to tell yourself i need to focus on the positive right now okay so that is something you need to do and you need to focus on kindness you need to focus on compassion you need to focus on knowledge and you need to let go of ignorance is one message that is really really coming forth for you again you're also being asked to live a very simple life a very simple life you know money is again always going to be coming to you you know you'll never have short of money in your future but still you are being asked to live simply because See, in your life, you know, there will always be temptation for you, pile one, to stray away from your true self. And that straying away will only happen through materialism. So once you reduce your wants, once you reduce that complications in your life and choose to live more simply, those distractions will, you know, keep failing is what I'm getting. So please choose kindness, choose joy and choose abundance is what is coming through for you. Yes, again, the message is being reinforced. See, what is being told here is you have a lot in your life already, but that inner wolf just keeps wanting more. One goal you've achieved, you want to set another. Second you've achieved, you want to set another, which is great in terms of material life. There is nothing wrong with it, but you lose that satisfaction aspect, you know. So let yourself be happy over everything that you've achieved because clearly there's a lot that you've achieved, okay? So be very careful about this wolf that is present inside you that is never happy, that is never satisfied, no matter how much he gets, okay? You always find something to complain. So that is one aspect of yourself which you need to let go of when you play the role of a medicine man or a woman, yeah? Because this tendency that is very much in you is not something that is coming to you from your own self it is actually coming to you from your ancestors like they kept wanting more no matter how much they had so now it is your chance 
to break those chains okay see understand what happened was our ancestors lived in very interesting time where they were born in an era where their things were very simple but things kept getting better you know there was industrial revolution there was renaissance and things kept getting better like things newer things kept popping up and they had to earn more money to get those things so that became a tendency and that was passed to you so now you need to break those chains and rewrite the future you need to start being happy with what you have be content start being happy that again is what is being told to you you need to heal yourself and you need to heal your generations that will come after you okay so don't do things that your ancestors have done don't repeat those things is again something that is coming forth for you yeah again remember you are very supported in your journey see once again your ancestors did not really have access to spiritual guidance that much you know they were not as advanced as you are you know you are that advanced and hence you receive the guidance for your path ahead so trust that path trust those intuitive nudges that you're getting here again and remember you are supported on your journey and what will happen is you will sort of you know be cutting cords with some aspect of your past okay and you're moving into a different life entirely a life which will ring more true to you than your past ever did so welcome this future with open arms is again something that is standing forth for you again a lot of wisdom will you know come your way now i believe in the next couple of months you will be learning a lot of things okay this can be learning through books or in certain cases this can be guidance coming from spirit that will teach you a lot but again this guidance that you're getting this knowledge that you're getting is essentially what the divine wants you to have okay but once you gather all of this knowledge it is important for you to protect that knowledge as well so i believe a lot of hidden knowledge will come to you so be very careful not to share that knowledge with just about everybody okay because not everybody is ready to listen to your wisdom so what will happen is some people will be like she is crazy he is crazy and probably you know they will stop wanting to associate with you that happens with every person on a spiritual journey okay so be very careful about sharing your knowledge with just about everybody people who are prepared will come and find you don't try and you know convince your way of being to people around you because that is not going to work yeah that is what is coming forth again what i see is your interpersonal relationships your relationship with a few people in your life will actually get a lot more closer than it was before and in a way you know this is like your life in your life balance is being restored so when balance is being restored it essentially means a lot of what you know you've done will succeed but again in order for that balance to come in that medicine man and the medicine woman needs to really come up you need to settle those parts of yourself that sort of unbalance you at this point of time again a lot of excessive love for materialism needs to go at this point of time yeah that is again important once again when it comes to loving people don't really choose people on the basis of how much they have instead choose people on how much knowledge they have because i believe you will be attracted towards knowledge much more in the future and people coming in contact with you that knowledge will just spread far and wide so again spiritual tribe coming together your soul tribe coming together is something that i really see here but again for that to happen firstly you need to still your own energies once again that wolf that is inside you that keeps wanting more that just wants to keep moving from one destination to another has to be calmed okay so learn to find that stillness within you once again let me tell you please ground your energies because what i sense is your upper chakras are much more active which is great but right now they need to calm down a little bit because all parts of you need to come in alignment at this point of time once all parts of you are in alignment 
then the life will become truly truly balanced okay you cannot have just you know the upper chakras functioning beautifully or you just cannot have your lower chakras beautifully it has to be like a beautiful song between both of them so make sure that is happening so make sure you are grounding controlling your energies first and really moving to that higher dimension at a slightly later point because you know the balance is slightly out for you right now it will be okay as you undertake those spiritual journeys see everything that is happening to you right now is essentially not your fault honestly as much as it is of your ancestors okay you are meant to break chains and especially at this point a lot of ancestral healing is happening yeah and i believe that will happen to you as well just focus on goodness focus on simplicity focus on happiness and focus on joy that is all you can do and just praise the lord because you know good things will eventually find its way into your life and thank you spirit guides because your spirit guides orchestrate a lot for you than you are aware find that inner stillness once you find that inner stillness you'll find that your the rest of your life is you know beautiful calm and full of joy that is what i see for you i wish you the very very best and i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've picked pile two then these are your messages from your spirit guide so let us just see what they are wanting to tell you so essentially what your spirit guides are trying to tell you is everything that you give it always comes back because you know firstly there is this law of karma so be very very careful about the energies that you're giving out what you leave the other person with when it comes to your interaction with them but remember if in the past you've given out good you will only get good in return so always be very careful about karma especially your karma at this point of time because in the end our own karma is the only thing that you can control also see essentially you've picked out the card of radha and the card of radha is one of love so what your guides are trying to tell you is you need to walk on the path of love a path where you give with an intense amount of devotion but not expecting that same kind of love back because what happens is if we give out something with the expectation of getting exactly the same in return we sometimes get disappointed understand nothing you give out ever goes out to waste you'll always get it back but maybe through a different person maybe through a different relationships okay so right now just focus on giving your best and be assured of the fact that whenever time is right for you you will get back whatever it is that you deserve yeah and again patience is going to be very very important for you understand the people around you are really really under the influence of certain planetary positions especially the flux of planets is affecting other people much more than it is affecting you so if you feel like a couple of people are behaving randomly or they are behaving in a manner which is not usually them just let it go just forgive them you need to be much more patient because you are a wise being your understanding is deeper your life experiences are much more deeper and at this point be very very careful about your communication pattern because a misunderstanding at this point is very likely not because you are doing something wrong but because the other people person is not in the mentality where they will be able to receive whatever it is that you're communicating in the way that you are trying to say it again you need to really focus on you know your root chakra at this point because just staying grounded being very careful about your own energies is especially very important for you right now and especially at this point you need to be very very careful about the intuitive nudges you're getting so if you are getting nudges that you need to like break away from certain people maybe for a couple of time for a certain like two to three months then then maybe this is something that you need to do for yourself and if you feel like you need to connect on a deeper level with some other people it is time for you to do exactly that because if you see in this card you know it's so interesting it's like you are 
in this beautiful you know a blue colored you know kind of clothes and the people around you are in the gray energy so then that, that in itself is a very strong indication of your energy in you know contrast to the energies of people around you and it's so interesting you have you know rain around and it's just started raining here so that's very interesting again and again you're being asked to keep facing your true north to do what you feel is right even when people oppose you because your journey and their journey is completely completely different okay that is something you need to really remember at this point of time and again if you are prone to overthinking why is this happening to me why me why do other people not receive their karma everybody receives their karma when it is their time okay to get yourself away from certain situations is also very much on the cards here again at this point of time again interacting with people may drain your energy so be careful about that once again protect yourself with you know bonds of light again you know white light meditation again is very helpful green light meditation is very very helpful so maybe that will really help you and if you're not able to do that then maybe just sit in sunlight that will again help you lift your spirits up uh, pay attention to your nature around you go for nature walks because that alone is going to help you change change your energy at this point of time again you know connecting with your ancestors can be really really helpful at this point getting their blessings can again be very very helpful at this point of time if you can do something for the planet then that will be really good so you know you are in a way a light worker i know a couple of people will actually agree with it so if you are a light worker try healing the planet a little bit try giving out good energies try and bless somebody because maybe your blessing will help the other person feel a lot better especially if somebody is ill if especially if somebody is mentally ill is what i'm getting for a couple of you then your blessings your good intention towards them can help them a lot in your journey okay because you are a very evolved being and the blessing of an evolved being helps a lot of people okay so this is something that is showing up for you so you're very significant at this point of time because what is happening here is you pi 2 are a little bit in the future and you are a little bit in the past okay you are changing but you are adapting at a more rapid phase than other people around you. give out blessings again meditation is something that is a must for you at this point of time okay you are an in between your spirit guides are with you they are always protecting you but you need to protect yourself as well and especially protect your higher chakras okay please protect your higher chakras because as you move ahead those chakras are going to be getting more active intuitively you're going to be getting more you know messages you are going to be getting more messages in your dreams through your subconscious so be careful about those messages and if possible write them down because you know they will be helpful for you in the future as well again a couple of people always tell me i don't remember my dreams so maintaining a dream journal can help you a lot as you move forward but you are the in between you are the more evolved so so at this point of time help the planet but at the same time protect your vibration yeah so that is the message that your spirit guides are really sending across to you remember there is a circle of life what you give out you get back in return so if you give out blessings blessings is exactly what will come to you but at the same time if you're giving out curses then again that again you know has a boomerang effect so just give out the best no matter what other people send your way so overall those are your messages for today pile two i wish you the very very best and since it is raining i believe you know rain is again a blessing from the universe to you so the universe is blessing you abundantly as well i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've picked pile three then these are the messages that are coming across for you from your spirit guides okay so pile three what i believe is essentially you are sort of going on an intense spiritual journey because whenever i get the medicine back in my own practice when i when it comes to reading the cards it always means i am supposed to gather whatever it is that i require for meditation again you know whatever it is that medicine back can essentially consist of a lot of things you can have sage you can have palo santo you can have your praying beads or whatever 
इट इज दैट मेक्स यू फील गुड ओके बिकॉज दिस जर्नी फॉरवर्ड इज मेन टू बी इंटेंस यू विल लर्न अ लॉट यू विल लूज अ लॉट ऑफ एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू नीड टू बी एबल टू कंट्रोल योर एनर्जीज हेंस दिस मेडिसिन बैग बिकम्स वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक एंड इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइज टू हैव अ मेडिसिन बैग एनी टाइम यू आर इन अ स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस ओके The reason why I say this is again your next card is also very linked because you've chosen the card of tap. Now essentially what is tap? Tap is like intense meditation or you know sitting with yourself and just you know praying out a mantra because the worship of a mantra one specific mantra for days at a time can really put you forward on your spiritual journey again if you are a hindu then chanting one mantra whichever deity you choose can help you in your spiritual journey but if you belong to any other religions then i know there are mantras for every specific religion or just the name of god keep repeating it because that in itself will really really help you forward in the next journey of yours but i believe the next journey is meant to be intense and you you are also asked to up your game slightly you know connect more deeply with your spirit guides because that alone will really really put you forward in your journey because i believe pile 3 there is a lot you need to learn because that learning will take an intense amount of time for you so that is something that is very specific and again see what's interesting is at this point of time any jap of a mantra repeating of a name of any deity across religions can really help you when it comes to your material life you know realizing something if this is wealth you need then you know pray for that if this is good health you need pray for that so whatever it is that you're working hard towards like if you really focus on it then that will come to fruition especially for the next two moons is what i'm really getting here but you need to up your spiritual game is one strong message that is really coming here again yes like i said in the very beginning you are being called towards a spiritual journey in some cases for you the journey can actually be a physical one okay like going to a specific place and you know engaging yourself in a worship now this doesn't always have to be a worship of a deity sometimes it can be something like a yoga practice it can just be a meditation practice it can be a reiki practice pranic healing practice a practice towards healing yourself and your life and the life of people around you yeah so that is the next step for you and that is something that you're called towards like i said in today's overall reading you know the vibe i get is the focus is not only on your life but also the life of people around you that is something that is coming strong here so maybe if you undertake this intense meditation this intense practice your vibrations will help people around you as well Okay, so that is what is coming forth. So again, physically, if you are called to move to a different destination to start a new life, then again, that is again one message that is standing out for you. Yes, ah, uh, yeah. Now this really makes sense. You have the energy of the Pleiadians. So for a couple of you, you actually can be a star seed. Doesn't have to be Pleiadians alone. You can actually be other tribes as well. But again, you have been living on the Pleiadian terrain for at least one lifetime. Okay. that is what is coming forth so if you are those people then maybe the reason why you are meant to undertake the meditation where you are meant to go on a spiritual journey is for you to connect more deeply with this family with your family in the galaxy and the outer space okay and then your journey with them your connection with them will heal humanity as a large now i don't know if you are aware but a lot of other worldly beings are now coming into contact with earthly beings via meditation and the only reason is they want to help earth like move into the dimension where their planet is essentially okay their dimension is entirely that is what i'm getting here so you basically are put on planet earth 
at this point of time to play the role of two people at once like you're supposed to be a star seed but you are supposed to belong to planet earth as well and the reason why you are being called to do that is because one you're meant to heal but you're also meant to live a very abundant life on planet earth okay so if you learn a couple of things that your previous lifetimes have taught you and if you bring that to birth right now then maybe your life again will change a lot is what i'm getting here but again deeper your meditation because these beings will only come to you through meditation is what i'm getting here so maybe there is a possibility that you may be able to channel in the future yeah that is again coming forth for you but you have to hit like hit the mark you know because you have the arrow master you cannot lose your focus at this point of time so be very careful when it comes to your meditation practice and if there are people around you who don't want you to do that journey then please just don't listen to those voices you need to just focus on your goal and you need to keep walking in that direction is what is coming forth for you again you need to be prepared for the journey because that journey is definitely very very intense and again you may realize that you're not getting a lot of support and you have to do a couple of things on your own you know understand spiritual journeys sometimes you get a tribe member who's willing to walk with you but a lot of times spiritual journeys are meant to you know be walked alone and your journey is that of you know a lone warrior so you are strong you are capable so it's time to start that process is what i'm getting here for you yeah again one message i'm getting here is please get rid of clutter around you because that clutter is really really you know a draining away a lot of your energies that is also coming forth for you so again uh, once again you know if you can really get into uh, hanging a couple of musical instruments around you that is again something that is coming forth maybe like a wind chime or an instrument you know this can be a guitar this can be a violin anything if you like connect with an instrument so connecting with an instrument and as a result getting deeper into your meditation is also one method which you can follow if you don't have access to an instrument play them on youtube if that is something you can do but that can again get you in a very strong meditative state so that is again coming forth like i said the reason why you are supposed to get into this meditative state is that you get certain gifts from the other dimension which will help you financially in this lifetime remember lakshmi or the goddess of wealth has eight forms okay you can google it and you'll be able to understand each forms of hers so again you know fortune can be many things fortune can just something as simple as in a piece it can be health it can be you know the good of people around you so lakshmi has various forms it can actually be warrior form okay where you fight certain injustice in the society again it can again be in the form of money as well but all forms of lakshmi all forms of wealth Wealth, all forms of abundance now will enter your life as a result of this intense journey that you will be taking but this will only happen if you really commit to that form because that commitment is what is necessary for you and what will help you in that commitment is this medicine bag so gather everything that you find is helpful for you in the meditation process can be music can be candles can be anything you know palo santo can be sage whatever you feel helps you in the process gather it and start walking in that direction yeah your you know your family from the pleiadian realm is again sending you a lot of you know love you are a star seed never forget that you are infinitely capable than most people so make use of those gifts is what i'm going to leave you with and i'll see you in my next one bye